Hello, I'm Adrian, an architect in Columbia, Missouri, who's long been interested in straw bale construction and how it can be part of affordable housing in urban environments. After a few straw bale workshops, one of which a being the Community Rebuilds uh, Apprenticeship in Moab, Utah, my husband Adam Saunders and I started saving our money and lobbying our city for two things. One, adopting the IRC Appendix S, and two, creating an Accessory Dwelling Unit Incentive Program and Ordinance. And now we're in the midst of building a straw bale accessory dwelling unit. My name is Tommy, Tommy Fieser, and I'm a friend of Adam and Adrian's, as well as one of their subcontractors. I'm enthused by energy saving designs and the natural aesthetics of straw bale construction. I've helped out with builds in Tennessee, Vermont, Missouri with the Possibility Alliance, and I've seen Living Energy Farms buildings in Virginia, and I really like those as well. In 2020, we broke ground on a 24 foot by 24 foot straw cell accessory dwelling unit in our backyard. Our goals were to one, demonstrate the viability of straw bale construction in a community where it's new. This house will be the first permitted straw bale residence in Columbia. Two, be our own general contractor and self-perform natural building tasks while maintaining our day jobs. Three, make it as high performing as possible by being airtight and net zero electric. And lastly, make it ADA accessible. So Adrian, why did you shoot for the straw cell method? Well, we thought straw, straw cell could have a couple of benefits. First, it could simplify the inspection process. Second, it would save the work of uh, installing and maintaining exterior plaster. It would also allow us to install the bales without having to worry at all about the weather outside. And lastly, it would add some insulation and move the dew point outside of the straw bales within the wall section. So here's the details of our wall construction. The walls are made of two by fours at 16 inches on center with blown in cellulose insulation. There is no sheathing, rather lead in bracing is used for shear, which is adequate in our seismic region. Vapor permeable Solitex Mento Plus building wrap surrounds the stud wall and fiber cement siding is mounted on a ventilated rain screen. Bales on edge are st stacked and staked on the interior and tied back to the studs and there's 1.5 inches of clay plaster on the inside of the bales. So tell us what's cool about straw cell, Tommy. All right. First of all, it's called straw cell because there are straw bales with cellulose insulation and two by four framing. Mental building house wrap and a rain screen provide a vapor open alternative to exterior plaster. Our timeline is a little bit more stretched out than most builds as we only have time for this about once or twice a week. So having it dried in with siding before we brought straw bales into the equation really helped with our time flexibility. The home blends in with the neighborhood with its exterior siding and you wouldn't know it had straw bales inside of it until you stepped inside or saw the enormous amount of straw in the front yard. So tell us what you found out about your project thus far. Well, the project isn't finished yet. We're about to install interior plaster and we're hoping to be occupied by summer 2022. But so far we found a few downsides. The ventilated rain screen was pretty difficult to construct without sheathing. It, creating an air sealing penetrations without rigid sheathing required a lot of extra thought and blocking. Because we're building slowly, neighborhood ha cats had time to find our Mento uh, building wrap and use it as a scratching post. Furring strips and siding added a lot of material costs. And even though we created a removable skirt board to monitor the bottom of the wall for vermin, the siding still obscures what's happening on one side of the bales. Aside from these downsides, we do feel like the straw cell method has been a good way to introduce straw bale construction to people who are interested in natural building in our community and uh, the building department. But we'll know more after we finish and occupy. Thanks for tuning in. We hope this was helpful for you. Please feel free to keep up with the discussion down low in the comments. Check out our websites as well as some of the key products that help bring this build to life right here and in the description down below. Thanks for watching.